Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss the last topic of unit 5 control system that is to calculate the state transmission matrix, to calculate the zero um, input response and zero state response, whatever those things are there. So I'll take just one question and I'll cover every topic that is there in this topic to be solved. So let's co uh, consider a question that is x dot of t is equals to that is a matrix x1 and x2 b u of t and this is x not 1 and 1 so we are given to solve state transmission matrix zero input response zero state response transfer function inverse of the state transmission matrix and uh, finally the transfer function so basically the total response is the sum of zero input response and zero state response so first we'll calculate the state transmission matrix we'll do some operation we'll calculate the zero input response zero state response and then we will add both of them to get total state response and uh, let's start solving it for to get the state transmission matrix that is given by phi of t the formula to calculate this phi of t is first we have to consider phi of s and this is equals to s i minus a of inverse like in diagonalization we use lambda i minus a here we are using s i minus a and we are taking inverse of it so when we do that column and column becomes the row then we will get s minus 1 2 and s plus 3 and also the determinant should be taken that is s into s plus 3 minus of 2 into minus 1 so we will get s into s plus 3 plus 2 and now we will solve this further after solving this equation we will get it as 1 by s plus 1 into s plus 2 and this matrix is as it is now we will multiply each element with this and we will get s by s plus 1 into s plus 2 2 by s plus 1 into s plus 2 minus 1 by s plus 1 into s plus 2 s plus 3 by s plus 1 into s plus 2 and by doing the partial fraction we will calculate this we will get minus 2 plus 1 minus s plus 2 you are more smart than me you can do the partial fraction of every element Finally, after partial fraction, we get this matrix. And uh, to convert phi of s into phi of t, we have to do inverse Laplace transform. Anna? So when we do, let's write here, inverse Laplace transform of phi of s, we get phi of t, which we want. This is the state transmission. This is the state transmission matrix. So when we do inverse of this equation, this equation, we will get. this is phi of t and hence this is the state transmission matrix So after multiplying the two matrices, we got this matrix and I multiplied all the elements by 1 by S. And after doing the partial fraction, we got this matrix and we applied inverse Laplace transform. And finally, we got the zero state response. Now to find the total state response. We will add up the zero input response and zero state response. And this is represented by X of T. So we write this as phi of s into v naught and plus zero state responses phi of s into v into u. And uh, we will add this equation and this equation. After adding those equations, we will get total state response. So we will get the total state response as 1 by 4 plus 4 by 3 to power minus 3, 5 by 3 to power minus 40. And, uh, So this is the total state response that we got and the next bit was to calculate the inverse of state transmission matrix so to calculate the inverse of state transmission matrix there is a property that we replace the t by minus t so phi of t that we got was um, 
phi of t of inverse is equals to phi of t that we got we will replace t by minus t so we will get t minus e to the power of 2t t e to the power of 2t and uh, the final point was to calculate the transfer function so there is a formula for transfer function that is c into si minus a inverse into b plus d so actually the question is incomplete here it is also given that y of t is equals to 1 0 and this is x1 and x2 so this is y is equals to cx plus du in previous videos also i've told that d is most probably 0 so that's why c matrix is 1 and 0 so for solving the transfer function we require c and uh, this already we calculated previously b and d so this is si minus a inverse and uh, c matrix we already saw that it is 1 0 sorry a small correction this si minus a inverse into b i wrote it collectively here so this is not needed and we just need to multiply this and this matrix so when we multiply these first uh, one row with this column then only the first element will get remained and uh, when we add with zero it will remain the same so only this element is going to stay in the last and this is the transfer function of the system so transfer function is equals to 1 by s plus 1 minus 1 by s plus 2 so by solving only one question we have learned so many things and if you have understood everything clearly then don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos thanks for watching